legendary Mr. Skin. Mr. Skin. Mr. Skin. Mr. Skin. Mr. Skin. Mr. Skin. Mr. Coast to coast from Los Angeles, Chicago, and New York, it's the Mr. Skin Podcast with your hosts, Mr. Skin, Jimmy Fela, and Andrea Lowell. We want to hear from you. Call the show and leave us a voicemail at 484 Skin Pod. Find all things Mr. Skin Podcast online at MrSkinPodcast.com. They said it could not be done. I'm not talking about Donald Trump winning the presidency. I'm talking about this show making it to 19 episodes. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Jimmy Fallon here getting ready to kick off another big episode of the internationally renowned Mr. Skin podcast. Uh, joining me from Los Angeles, the great Andrea Lowell. How you doing, dear? I'm doing fantastic. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. And, of course, the man of the hour, uh, Mr. Skin himself. Skin. How you living, what champ? Up, what up, Jimmy and Andrea? It, How it, are you? We're doing great. It's, it's, a, it's a big day on our show uh, because Andrea Lowell, as a woman who has been nude in print and film, is now <laughs> eligible to be a first lady someday. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> broke in the ceiling. This is a big day on the show. We've got a new, uh, a new president-elect, and, and more importantly to this show... A new first lady, Melania Trump. Wow. I mean, that's, ex- that's exciting to me. Regardless of politics or how you view anything, you ha- no one can deny her hotness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no question. Yeah, you're not getting any politics out of, out of us. Facebook has the monopoly on that. Facebook Ugh. is like a towering inferno right now. I know. We have man. no interest. I want to talk about Melania Trump, though, Skin, because she is a delight. Yes, and she's the only first lady that posed for naked pictures on purpose yeah uh, there was one yes. there was one first lady who did by a sneaky photographer uh do you guys know who that was i think is that, was is that Jack the jackie o? o yes what happened was in the in the early 70s when she was married to aristotle onassis she was on an island and thought she was alone and went out you know completely naked and mm. there was some dude on a boat with a you know Mm-hmm. some powerful camera right. yeah. and took a nude photos complete nudity full frontal r- full back all the whole thing and then <laughs> of course they ended up in uh, hustler magazine in the 1970s did, did they ever i have seen them uh thanks to your fabulous website i have seen those shots and uh what a delight what a delight jackie was. <laughs> but, but it's well a, yeah it's a it's a whole i know it's a whole new era though i mean this is i watched her on 60 minutes last night uh, mm-hmm. She's she's like she's jarring, like getting even past attractive. She just looks. She's a Bond girl. She looks yes. like a James Bond girl. Absolutely. We, yeah. I was talking to someone here at the office. Uh, is it safe to say that she's the first first lady with fake boobs? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. come on. You know, that's a discussion worth having. Yeah. I don't know the answer on that. We got to get Trump on the phone. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, Let I me haven't out. actually seen phone. her nude photos. Is there somewhere? Do you have them on your website? Oh yeah. Skin? Uh, not a, well. We did in our. What, were they in our blog, uh, Maddie D? I know we uh, tweeted them out. Uh, we tweeted them out on uh, Twitter. Wow. Uh, some pics that got quite a few shares, by the way. I'm wow. Yeah, she saw, uh, she did a lot of. She actually did a s- decent amount of nude modeling uh, mm-hmm. back in the '90s, and um, it's wow. out there. You can find it. But I'll, uh, Andrew, I'll send you some in your email. Yes, yeah, send me some I, private this- links. Listen, I, I like it. Like, as, as my inner pervert, we're becoming, like, more European. You know, like, those countries in Europe have had presidents married and divorced four or five times with oh, hot yeah. wives and all that stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is, I'm in favor of this. I think, I yeah. think we do need to go forward uh, as a society and not worry about stuff like this. I think we embrace fun stuff like this. I like having a James <laughs> Bond girl in the Oval Office. The only thing that scares me about her yeah. is uh, what if she is... A James Bond girl. I know, <laughs> like, right? Like she's she's, she's giving Trump a BJ. She's giving Trump a BJ in the Oval Office, and then she just like drugs him, kills him, and takes over the nuclear codes. <laughs> now we got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> slips slips him a Mickey, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and knocks out the Trump man. I mean, it could happen because she is that hot. So it's an exciting time to be alive and, and be doing a skin cast right now. It's it is on fire everywhere I look. <laughs> I'm in the shelter of this studio doing a show. Andrew, can I ask you this, though? Did you stay up election night and watch it? Because it was a little bit earlier in the evening for you than it was for us. Yeah, you know, um, I didn't really watch the beginning of it because uh-huh. I was busy. I was just doing stuff. And then I put it on. And I was really just kind of in shock and awe. <laughs> and, um, so I, and then it became very compelling. Like, I couldn't yes. turn away. And, I mean, then I'm having side conversations with my hubby. And we're discussing things we've never discussed before uh- pertaining to this. And it was like, wow, this is really 
happening. It was yeah. uh, it was intense. And so yeah, we, <laughs> was, we stayed up. It was great. It was great theater, right? Absolutely. It was, it was, it was Be- good viewing. Best time. reality show. I know everyone keeps saying that, but it's true. Like I actually was watching that and not Real Housewives for once. So what does that say? <laughs> <laughs> Again, were you awakened in Chicago? What was going on? Yeah, I stayed up. I ended up, I think it was about 1230 our time when I finally uh, gave up and went to bed. But mm-hmm. you're right. Wh- whatever side of the fence you were on, that was a crazy night. It was crazy night. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and I what? had people, I have this rule with my friends and my clients and all this stuff. Don't text me after nine. Just don't. It's mm-hmm. rude. Okay. And yeah. I had people texting me 11, 1130 mm-hmm. uh, and a myriad of responses to, oh my God, I'm crying and yay. Like, I mean, it <laughs> yeah. was like, it was crazy. It was what, What's so weird to me is with those polls and you, you, you mm. read all the polls and you see all the different yeah. uh, percentage chances of winning. You just don't expect, you know, them to be so wrong. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like there were all these polls, all these polls. So that's what made it so shocking. Right. You just assumed it was a foregone conclusion. <laughs> and it really makes you think in the future when you see those all these idiots that work for these pollers, yep. you know, just screw it. You're not even going to pay attention. Wait till the day, you know, wait till the day of and, and figure it out. Yeah, yeah I never really pay ones. attention to, to the polls anyway. I think it's always biased. I think the only unbiased media is us. <laughs> That's yeah. why you come to the skin cast. We were the ones who floated this idea a week ago when we said we should decide the presidency on an American Idol type show. With right. Like, a, like an, Amer- an America's Got Talent with like a skills challenge and stuff like that. <laughs> that would be so like, cool. Think about how cool this election would have been this year if you got like Simon Cowell, Mel B, and Howie Mandel sitting at a table. Hillary comes out, deletes a couple of emails. Trump grabs a <laughs> pussy, you know, and then, and then we throw it to the judges, and we save yeah. like eighteen months, and we have a good, you know, we have fun. <laughs> yeah, well, that's another thing too. Is um, I mean, here we are. We're, I don't, don't want to get real political, but right. gosh, all that time waste, all that money they spend for those stupid ads. Yes, all the time oh, you're, like, you're sitting there watching television. It's a, it's a, the World Series or the football mm. or whatever you're watching, and they put those ads on. It's oh, just yeah. like what, I want to get away from this crap. What, and then all that. What did all of that mean? Nothing. No, nothing. Well, that's yeah. just funny. Yeah. Like I, uh, in New York, I'm in New York. Obviously, Andrew's in California. We're mm-hmm. a little luckier. Mm-hmm. Because uh, our state is pretty much decided, but you know, before the the campaign even starts, yeah, um, you know, because of yeah, so stuff. so is Illinois. Yeah, where so I am, you guys right? are a little luckier. Like when my wife, uh, her family is from in Ohio, they literally have one of these commercials like every eight seconds oh. on yeah. every channel. You know what yeah. it's like? It's like it's like being the three people left in the country who aren't on the do not call list. Yeah. They're getting all yeah. the phone calls that, that used yeah. to be spread out. Yeah. <laughs> it used to be spread out ac- across 200 million people. Now they're just calling the same three people. That's what it's like living in a swing state. But but that's not the swinging we're interested in, Skin. Right. We're interested right. in real I want to live in a swinger swinging. state. That's, yes. what, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. But so, last uh, week, yeah. guys, we were so looking forward to it being over. Remember, we talked about the mm-hmm. commercials and the this and the that and the, the conversations. I feel like it's never ending. I'm like, when is, when are people going to stop talking about it? Oh, ev- never. <laughs> yeah. to, answer, to answer your question, it has become like it's become a pop culture thing now. Yeah, where it's replaced pop culture, and that we're not even talking about. Think about the last time we had a major pop culture story. Like we haven't had one right that dominated the news cycle for like three days in a row. We haven't had one of them in months, man. Trump, yeah. because Trump is kind of like a rock star in in the in the sense that he draws a lot of attention to himself. Right. And has a knack for making headlines. I'm not saying Trump could front a band. I, I, I don't think know. he meant that now. No. Oh, <laughs> that's, so, that's so funny. Little Donnie and the Trumps. When they get well, out there. I, was, I was thinking about like the uh, reason I'm on Facebook uh-huh. is strictly to see what girls that I went to high school with yes. look like today. Yes. And also to occasionally catch like some of the housewives from my town in their bikinis on vacation. I swear to God, that's the only reason I go on Facebook. That's what Facebook is for. Yeah. And that's what it should be yes. for. This political stuff. It's like, yeah, you're going to you write a big thing that's going to convince me to go to your side or I'm going to write something that's going to convince you, you know, and plus everyone knows just enough to write a paragraph or two, but not you know what I'm saying? Like everyone's, everyone's a little bit smart. No one's really exactly. smart. Out there. Yeah. Yeah. Question. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me tell you something. Facebook needs a button called Who Asked You? 
Right. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like or comment, just a button yeah. like, yeah, who asked you? Who gives you shit? Yeah. And I'll do it, though. I'll get in While there. I'm on the yeah. subject, I can't stand either when it's people will just post like on Veterans Day, here's to all the veterans. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks for doing that because I was against the veteran. You know, it's uh, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like all that crap. It's just, Ignorance, it should just man. be about seeing your old girls from high school. That's what <laughs> Facebook should be about. It's social right media there. to be social. <laughs> it's not a platform for your bullshit. Oh, right, man. right. We've <sighs> corrupted it. Yeah, it's really weird because it's the one technology that we didn't convert into sex consumption. You know what well, I mean? Everything yeah. else became a vehicle to find other ways to get, you know, to look at sex, you know? Yeah. Right. And uh, fa- why hasn't Facebook But notice done how that? I still try to use it for that. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I guess literally, it like, on... I found a group of, I found a group of girls that I knew, like, some housewives from, from, that I knew that were on some trip, and they were all in bikinis, and I must go back to that picture. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Are you one of you those know? guys? Because my, my, I have a buddy who goes on to Facebook and, and will specifically, like, wank to the profiles. And, oh, uh, very good. I have no problem with that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But it's weird because it's like you go onto the profile. If you do that, she's like holding her kid. They're at like a dude ranch on a whore. You know what I mean? Well, I'll occasionally see like a, a some a, a wife's my wife's friend or a housewife or someone that I know, and like they'll be at a concert and they'll be like all excited, and then I notice there's like some see through action in the shirt, so I'll be focused. You know, that's that's how Facebook should be used. I love you. That's the skin. only reason. Yeah. I love you. But people can find sex on Facebook. I, I don't know specifically, but I'm sure there's different pages you can like or oh. groups you can belong to. Um, but again, people can be paying attention to this show live streaming and then watching it later Yo. so there's many ways to kind of make it sexual i think we just don't know because we don't use it for those reasons you know i still have people this is a mm-hmm. weird thing even though i have a, a mr skin facebook account but then i have my own account right uh, i have there's actual people i've had a few people that can't be friends with me for different reasons one is like this girl I used to date for a long time, she can't be friends with me because she didn't want her kids to see that she was friends with me. And then I had a guy who's very religious and he didn't want his um, pastor, whoever it was, to see that he was friends with me. So I still get that kind of stuff every once in a while. On your personal account? Yes. Oh, that's nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Skin man. A lot of high drama on Facebook. Yeah, Pastor Bader was his name. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, man, it's a wild time to be alive. I am. I want to say this. I'm excited. It doesn't matter who wins the presidency. I become like very pro-America because mm-hmm. it's like it's we're turning a page. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was really excited on Election Day. It wouldn't have mattered to me who won. Mm-hmm. Um, it would have mattered a little bit because I bet money on the election. But, of I mean, course you mattered, did. Of yeah. course. <laughs> but it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, I would have I spent a day and a half giving hand jobs in the meatpacking district <laughs> to get my money back. <laughs> but aside from that, it wouldn't have mattered. And uh, I know I'm in a pro-American mood. I, I'm ready on this show to celebrate America. Let's talk about some nudity. Let's do some that. Some tits and asses and have a little bit of fun. What do yes, you say? Jimmy. Well, I got good stuff for you guys. We were talking in the content department today that... November television has been spectacular. It's been great. It it's like I, you know, I'm worried about. I have to kind of pick and choose what I'm going to talk about because I literally there's so uh, much. I literally there's so much, and I I got to narrow it down. We got to get this show done at some point. But I, <laughs> I picked my highlights, and uh, let me start with probably if I had to choose right now, as Maddie D you might uh, agree with me here, but. If I had to go with the number one show for nudity currently on television, it's Westworld I'm, on yeah, Sunday baby. nights on HBO. Yeah, yeah, baby. What's what's really getting me going? I it, it really hit me uh, this morning when I was looking at the pictures from last night from Westworld. Their uh, first season, seventh episode. I think they're going to do ten episodes of Westworld. Is what I understand. A great show. If you haven't watched it, check it out. But so Tandy Newton. Mm is the black actress with the gorgeous uh she's got a, a english accent mm-hmm. and she's gorgeous and she she runs the brothel and she keeps getting herself killed and she's back in the left <laughs> what i didn't bank on with westworld is i i figured i was thinking I, I knew there'd be a lot of nudity but i was thinking it would be mostly sex scenes and orgies and all the craziness what i didn't take into account was the fact that these girls would be going back to the lab every episode for the most gratuitous, <laughs> ridiculous nudity. So they're always working on these. They're supposed to be robots, right, right? Right, But they're really actresses. So it's really strange that here you have the scene. I think you guys can see the picture of Tandy Newton. Oh, yeah, baby. Now, guys, that's 
that's not a robot that's a real person laying there as two guys fake work on her you know like she's a <laughs> like she's a robot now as nude as it, we've seen her in this series which has been a lot this yeah, a lot. is by far the best picture of her because you can see everything <clears throat> and i oh love how God. her boobs are kind of uh, going out to the side and they look really we full. call those avalanches they you are know, when they fall to the side all yeah, over me i, love, those I love this shot if you have really big ones it's a super avalanche but that's like kind of a, a mild avalanche but <laughs> by the way uh, we were also analyzing that is not a merkin I, and i'll tell you why i zoomed there's, in there's on a, that too <laughs> yeah it's it's like there's uh it's there's a sparseness to it like a, a merkin would be you know thick concentrated just, yeah I, exactly i see i see some reasons to think that's not a merkin but my my gosh how nude can you be and again it's gratuitous i mean they could just as easily be working on these robots with uh, you know, a Drape fake blanket, or, yeah, drape, or, or a sheet, or behind a wall where you could kind of see them working on the uh, actresses. But anyway, I <laughs> gotta say, this show is is yeah. so good We're because of this. Because of this, I didn't factor this in before the show came, so it's very exciting. And uh, we had Angela Seraphin, another oh, love host. Uh, yeah, she was. Uh, it's hard for me when I do that. I don't want to give away because I know a lot of people aren't caught up, but she's getting a little uh, wiping of the mind going on here with her yeah. but she's back in the lab and then even a woman uh, Tessa Thompson who's not a a host who's an actual uh uh you know I think she's on the board at at the the future you know at this park uh showed her butt in a really really sexy scene when this girl came to the door so this show is is been all it's uh, no pun intended cracked up to be when it comes to nudity. It's it's been really great. <laughs> there it is. So I you know I yeah. love her back too. The girl you're talking about with the booty shot. Just Tessa the way Thompson, her, yeah. just the way her back curves. A back on a woman is one of the sexiest parts to me. I think it's very underrated, and I like her back. Well, yeah, and she. Um, I was trying to think because I I know I throw out these names and uh, people don't really know uh some of these actresses but this tessa thompson i think she was the love interest in the rocky movie creed so she's oh. she's not a huge star but she's she's really pretty and uh that was cool now i wanted to mention um uh, maddie did you put a link to that the uh do we have the link to the uh 10 robots i'd like to bang yeah that's there <laughs> oh so, should i click this link yeah yeah click this okay, link let me give really, that a little i gotta click. say one of our writers we own a flesh bot which is a blog it's an adult blog, and I got to say, I, I just caught this. Um, they wrote it last week, but I noticed it over the weekend. And one of our writers, uh, who is the writer, Maddie D? Holly, uh, Kings yeah, Holly, Holly Kingston. Yeah, Holly Kingston. Kingston. <laughs> I'm sure that's a real name. Uh -huh. But yeah, she is writing for us. And um, they did a, uh, it's funny, uh, top 10 uh, robots I'd like to fuck. We're calling them RILFs. <laughs> <laughs> from the history of, from the history of movies and television and they have like Christana Loken and Terminator 3 yes. um and I forgot about this I was looking at it today uh they had the fembots uh, from Austin Powers yeah, and one go. of them I forgot the original Cindy Margolis was one of the fembots Dude, I forgot about I've that I've always wanted to grow up and be a fembot I re remember when I first saw that movie I was like that's what I want to be when I grow up I know that seems <laughs> yeah. so weird and stupid but I've always wanted to wear that little fluffy outfit and shoot bullets <laughs> out of my titties yeah yeah <laughs> yeah the, nice mam droids yes. but yeah it's uh but yeah i forgot about that and and i remember back in that era when girls would go um for halloween they dress up as fembots from austin yes. powers that was funny and uh yeah i'm just a couple that come to mind uh the girls from the stepford wives remember they mm -hmm. were all they turned out to be robots too um uh that blade runner was another one with joanna cassidy and sean young who are gorgeous uh they're on the list even dorothy stratton who i know andrea and i have talked yes. about she was in a, a movie called galaxy in 1980 and uh um what was it mm -hmm. oh alicia vikander and ex machina which was awesome she went full frontal and uh uh anyway it was it's it's a great list and uh they they kind of listed all their favorite uh robots but i'm gonna go rilfs is a new uh term that we're gonna we're gonna incorporate into the show uh uh robots i'd like to oh fuck, for sure let's start list. that hashtag yeah. today yeah. yeah. So if you go to Fleshbot and search Rilfs, I'm sure, or yeah. uh, robots I'd like to fuck, you, know you can funny? see the list. That is going to come. That's going to come to to porn sites. Yes, also. it is. Yep. Because, and because the sex, yeah, because the sad. That's what I'm saying. The sex robots are taking off, man. They're yeah. becoming. A, they're becoming a much bigger deal. That's. I would think that's going to be like a searchable category. Now, skin. here's a question for you guys: Would you ever watch an adult movie with an actual person and a robot? Ever. Even even if it was a real looking robot. Wait, say that again. Say that Would again. you ever watch a porno that was involving a real person and a robot? 
Mm. Would you I rather mean, well, would, would you rather no. see two people? <laughs> yeah, I want two people, but let me tell you, yeah. two robots, that's a different story. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just the, um, see if there's going to be a market for this Rolf porn, pretty much. Well, I don't know. If I, well, yeah, if, but I guess if, if, if yeah, I guess if, if the people, question is if, if I'd watch can, sex, the answer is always yes. If but people, yeah. Listen, if I can get past the horse and the dog, I can oh, get past the robot. Jay. That is true. I've seen some stuff that, uh, yeah. This, But it, the bigger question is, and this is, when you watch Westworld, this comes to mind, like, um, okay, so these guys pay money to go to be with these robots, and they have sex and m- menages and orgies and all this stuff. We've asked this question, and it's still, I don't think it's been answered. Is it cheating if you have sex with a robot? And not a real person. Ah, oh, and I the answer is no. If, I think if you no. don't ask, all guys say no. If it's, no, a, that is, if it's, <laughs> it's like every guy says no. No, it's it is a, it's a robot. An, it's it an is not a real object. person. It's, it's right. masturbation. It's masturbation. It's that. That would be like saying, "Is it is it cheating if you humped your pillow?" Jimmy, can we get your wife on the line to just yeah. get her? No, I don't know. My pillow she left doesn't an hour ago. feel like a person. <laughs> doesn't you know jiggle and move and moan? I think if if I'm asked and I say yes, go for it. But if I'm not asked and you do it behind my back with a robot, I might be <laughs> really? a little well, weird about you, it. And then do you do you like call up the robot and be like you home wrecker? I mean, it's a yeah, fucking well, no, robot. It's, not, it's not the robot's fault. No, because here's my thing. I'm looking. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm looking at Tandy Newton right now, naked. And I'm like, if my man were to fuck that robot, I might be a little <laughs> concerned. Right. So no, I got you. Yeah. That's funny. I'm um, like, just ask. I, just I, ask. I, I, I get that. Okay. You want to be considered. And that makes sense. But yeah. I mean, in the overall scheme of things, it is an ina- inanimate object and it's like it a is. blow up doll. No, you're right. You know, I, but but the problem is in the future, yeah, yeah, yeah. what they're trying to say with Westworld, if they could ever hey, yeah. get to this point and, and realistically, and I, don't get know, a how, I don't know how far down the road we're talking, and, but when that day comes, because the old days of the 70s and 80 blow up dolls, you know, that, that, that they parodied have, an airplane mm-hmm. and all that. I yeah, mean, it was cartoon. I think all our wife, as much as they think we're disgusting human beings, would give us a pass on that. But what uh, you're seeing yeah. on Westworld. But that's a whole different but ball this game. is why but again this is why okay being completely honest with, with our <laughs> listeners this is why I am in favor uh, and I think you and I should be on board in, 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 in cahoots on this that it is not cheating to have sex with a robot Jimmy, because if we can I'm, get I'm that, with you hundred percent yes man. yeah yeah because if we can get that accepted into society now we're grandfathered in for when these robots get so yeah, good that it yeah. should be considered cheating. <laughs> yeah. See what I'm doing right. here? I like where you're going with that this is Would a you, uh, Trojan horse, is what I'm proposing yeah, here. It's a Trojan you. horse. And you don't need a Trojan yeah, for your hey, horse. Yeah. There it is. Would you, you buy a used sex robot? Would no. you? Sh- <laughs> and would you share one? Would you be like, hey, my sex robot is really good. You want a borrower? Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, how no. would you clean that? Yeah. Yeah, oh. not, not a used robot and not a used car. I love... <laughs> I, was dry, I was returning a, a, you know, an Enterprise rental car, and the guy's like, yeah... You know, we, this car's actually up for sale. We're selling like eight eight of the cars on our lot. I was like, yo, who buys a rental car? That's like marrying a hooker. Yeah. Like, no, nobody, that's you don't take them out to treat them nice. You know what I mean? <laughs> Getting a roughed up vehicle. Yeah. So the answer is no, I am not buying a sex doll. Oh my God. A used sex doll. No. But you'd rent yeah. one for a night. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. no? The, okay, what sure. I'm saying is I would either buy one fresh, like I want to pop the bubble tape. Got you. Got after you. I'm done popping the doll. Got you. Or no. You dig? Uh, no. <laughs> but what's weird about that is, in a way, with dating, we are all buying used blow-up dolls, or uh, used sex dolls, right? Oh, my God. Because we are yeah. getting the residual effect of whoever they were with. In a way, yeah. Mm, in a way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's the big uh, conundrum as we watch Westworld and see these gorgeous uh, hosts. And uh, Anyway, so, but I have a lot more guys to get to. Oh, um, lay it on us, baby. Yeah, lots. Now, Masters of Sex, they had their season four uh, final on Sunday, and I got to tell you, um, as much as I'm a Lizzie Kaplan fan on this show, I'm also a big fan of the wife of Masters um, that's uh, played by Caitlin Fitzgerald. She's the blonde, and they're not at this stage of the fourth season. They're not, I believe they're officially divorced, but worst case, they're separated. Right. So um, anyway, she is that she reminds me of like Blythe Danner, that like yes. proper hot waspy blonde babe. Yes. And it's just something about her. Uh this is like where I grew up. I saw a bunch of these kind of girls growing up, so I it for still 
gets me going. But uh, she's like a Gwyneth Paltrow, Blythe Danner type of babe. Gorgeous, tall, blonde. She had a great nude scene last night. Now, in, in I think it was the second season, she had an interracial scene uh, with this black guy that was so hot because it was in the 1960s and she was cheating on her husband mm-hmm. and she was mm-hmm. having sex with this black guy and it was unbelievable. And she doesn't get naked a lot on the show, mm-hmm. but when she does, it's awesome. And Sunday night in the final episode of season four, it was great. So Caitlin Fitzgerald, Naked on Masters of Sex, uh, Sunday night on Showtime was awesome. Excellent. You did yeah. it right. You look good doing it too, by the way. Can I just say that? Oh, yeah. She, oh, she with looks that awesome. Biting that inner arm. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm, mm. A big fan of the bite. Mm. Um, the Now, I don't know, Jimmy, if you've caught this show. Mm-hmm. This Have you heard about this thing, Pitch, on the Fox Network, where this uh, Kylie uh, Bumbery is a, a pitcher who's the first girl to make it to the major leagues? Have you yes. heard about this show? Yes. Okay. Is this a documentary? So, no, it's an actual, like, a. Uh, the new TV show. There's seven oh. episodes in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how I, know. Yeah. I am when it comes to sports. Okay. No, that's <laughs> fine. I I didn't really know too much about it because they're not you know really showing nudity, so it wasn't really on my radar. Except they did a cool thing last week where uh, her team participated in the body issue of ESPN. You know, you know, yes. you guys know the body issue that they yep, do for of ESPN. Yeah. Now what they did is they had her in the stretch uh, pitching, and she's. Her front knees up, and it's strategic. So the way the shadows are, and you can't really see nudity. But Kylie uh, Bunbury, the star, isn't um, isn't you know someone who does nudity. So it's kind of hot to see. She's got an amazing body, and it was just something that came to my attention. I wanted to share with you guys. Now, if you do want to see her naked, and that's the reason MrSkin.com exists, uh, there was a mini series on the Spike Network last year called Tut, which was about King Tut, and she was having sex. Uh, with a guy and uh, you saw her butt so it's not strategic there but uh-huh. i just thought it was uh it was pretty cool and she's you know if this show takes off we're gonna know a lot more about her but uh the the name of the show is called pitch and her name's kylie burnbury uh Bun- it, bunbury bunbury it, it is yeah. a great shot uh yeah. it's not often that i say this because it's not exposing too much of her you know in terms of close-up nudity but it is worth visiting the site to see because it's the yeah. it's the slope of the back into the ass Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's really picking pretty. Up the leg right there. Yeah, that's a win- I mean, yeah, you know, every once in a while, when you just remove the sex aspect and just appreciate the female form. Oh my god, yeah, just just as art. You know what I mean? Like you're walking through the Sistine Chapel. Yeah. you know, it's you know, it's yeah. this. This is one of those. This is one of those shots that makes you, you glad you're alive. Yep, I agree. Yeah, those body issues, they show like. It's always the one guys they're showing their cracks and stuff, which is like, you know, whatever. But here we go. This this I just thought this was really hot. So it is really anyway, hot. it's it's not a show we're gonna see nudity, but at least you know where to find her nude. But yeah, pitch is on uh, Fox and we're all over that at our site. So also there's a couple shows that I don't know if I've talked to you guys about. Um mm-hmm. our guys uh have been noticing some nudity lately and there's a there's a I guess it's a station what would you call it yeah it's like uh it's called epics network and uh-huh. um you could find it on if you have comcast or dish network i don't believe it's on direct tv but our guys tape all this stuff and it's uh there's two shows that are there that all of a sudden they're starting to show some really good nudity one is called graves with nick nolte who plays an ex-president okay. and his daughter is played by helen york and she said last week she had a really nice topless scene and then there's another show called berlin station mm-hmm. which i mean i'm telling you guys these shows which I'm sure yeah. nobody, I mean, very few people know they exist, but they've actually both had some really good nudity. And I noticed that Berlin Station mm-hmm. had a scene with, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Michelle Forbes, who you might remember the old movie California with Brad Pitt. She played his wife in that. Okay. Yes. With Juliette Lewis. She's really hot. And I was like, my God, what, where did she come from? Because she, she really hasn't done much as far as i was concerned and uh uh she looks great and that movie i don't know how is it 20 years old or, lo- or older but yeah she, and she was also i think i think she was in heat with al pacino i think she was his wife in heat but she's really hot and she does a nude scene on this berlin station so the point is i've said this before we're tracking like you know 95 different channels uh, uh, channels yeah. or shows that have nudity and <laughs> I, I know for people out there it's impossible to keep up with all this <laughs> 
uh, all this nudity, but that's why we exist. So. You guys are like you guys are like air traffic controllers. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, that's a hair traffic controller. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. sitting up in, yeah. Sitting up in yeah. the tower. Yeah. Well, and anyway, so it's uh, it's Graves and Berlin Station on Epics. We've been watching so some good nudity over the last couple of weeks. Uh, and then I wanted to get to it, Angie. I don't know if you saw Shameless this weekend. No, but you have oh, to fill me in. Yeah. I'm 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 looking at the clips that we have oh, on Mister Skip Podcast. Um, well, on the links. Oh my gosh! I just want to say oh. that. I just want to say that Shameless. It is just such a great show. They push the envelope, and and there's always nudity. But like as an example, so there's a this season, season seven. They're in their seventh episode on Sunday night. Shanola Hampton and Steve Howie, who plays Kevin, are married, interracial couple, and somehow they finagled in a this Russian girl, Isadora Gorster, into their relationship so it's like a three-way marriage or whatever it's so amazing she's, she's sleeping <laughs> with them so I, I i noticed this morning i didn't watch it last night but i noticed this morning i'm looking at the pics and then i'm thinking the guys are saying this is a three-way and i'm like looking at it, i'm like well wait mm-hmm. i only see the guy i only see steve howie and chanel hampton what, what do you mean it's a three-way where's the girl she's under the fucking covers eating yep. out Shinola Hampton while he's sitting there and then when she's done eating her out she goes over and starts blowing Steve Howie mm-hmm. and it's like this is the show's amazing it is it's amazing. fantastic yes I mean you know what I'll and say, Andrew though? you know yeah <laughs> what I'm noticing with the the chemistry between Kevin and V is the nipple twisting we've never seen that on yes. Shameless before we've seen passionate sex we've seen doggy we've seen oral we've seen all this different simulation I think this is the first time we've actually seen like fingers pinching and twisting a nip for such a prolonged you, amount you of time. You bring up a very a very important point Thank here. You. So while <laughs> Isadora is going down on Shinola Hampton, he's gently tweaking the nip. It's hot. So she's getting a nip tweak and eating out at the same time. Yep. I mean, geez, That's what a three way is about, Skin. All well, three have to connect. Yeah, <laughs> I, I might be too. Yeah, I might be too overwhelmed to f- even remember a nip tweak. So that, I got to give that guy credit. That's yes. that's awesome. And nice, so he, and nice sheets, by the way. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sacks yeah, and yeah very prints. nice. But uh, <laughs> hey, um, we do have an audio clip of this scene because I do want to point one other cool. Th- because I, I want you to hear this clip so I can explain another cool thing that happens in this scene. For sure. Oh. I guess you got over your trust issues. I'm glad I only have to focus on two lovers. Kev, you're next. (sighs) Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Mm. Oh, hooray for being a thruple again. (laughs) What's the matter, Kev? Nothing, what? That. I'm fine. No. Your penis, it does not respond. I cup your balls, I stick my finger in your rectum, I twist and I stroke and I twist and I stroke. Nothing. Now, hmm. I mean, so she was cupping balls and sticking her finger up his butt. Right. But she does a, she does a great thing. She takes the, 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 the nice bed sheets that Jimmy was pointing out. Did you notice yeah. what she did with her oh, finger yes. after they were up her butt? She wiped yeah. that bad boy clean. <laughs> you yeah. never sure do that. As someone who has been up that tunnel, you go, you go to the bathroom. You don't right. wipe on the sheet. <laughs> right. That, that's what you, you expect that from a guy. Right, but that's the <laughs> subtle beauty of Shameless that this it's little. So if crass. you weren't if you weren't watching closely, you might have missed that she wiped the sh- the whatever was on her finger on the bed sheet. Yeah, so it's, it's those it's, little it's, nuances yeah. that really make the show right. Scary. Yeah, well, that's how I'm. That's what I'm selling here. Yes. That's what I'm selling. Yes. Yeah, it's the nipple so, twinking. It's the poop wiping on the sheet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's all those nothing, things. Nothing, nothing turns us on more than that. But anyway, so just pointing out the outrageous craziness of this shameless it's really great so um anyway one other thing i did want to mention the young pope which i talked to you guys about last week where we had the greatest double penetration scene in television history because this is coming to hbo in january had another interesting nude scene this week uh n- nobody you guys ever heard of monica seti but uh she was uh i think i, I can't tell if this guy's a, a cardinal or a po- or a or a um 
uh, priest. But anyway, she's trying to seduce him in the bathroom, and uh, she's an older woman, but it just kind of give you an idea of the craziness. Uh, a- another show that uh, we're going to have a lot to look now, forward to. How old is yeah. she? Because her body yeah. is ridiculously hot. We were talking about that. She's like, she's got to be in her late forties, but has abs, so it's weird. She has abs. You know? She has yeah. a perky and a great ass. Butt. Obviously, her breasts yeah. are enhanced, but I mean, Homegirl looks amazing. Yeah, right. Y- yeah, yeah she's works. really good. So, be we'll be talking a lot about the Young Pope when it debuts on HBO in uh, January, but it is airing in Europe. So that's my my Skin International division has been tracking this down on a weekly basis so that we're we're getting the jump on this we, we have a big dilemma in our office cuz we don't know Whoa. with the anatomy awards do we do we cuz there's definitely an anatomy award for at least double penetration if nothing else but the uh, uh we're we're kind of trying to figure out if we should it, it, wait until it airs on HBO and make it a 2017 eligible or should we uh, allow the 2016 we're kind of the opinion uh. that's since mm. it's aired, it, you know, since it is out there, that it, it counts for this year. So these these are the big. While other people go to work and have life and death yeah. decisions yeah. to make, this is the kind of stuff I have to worry you about. Have a real quality yeah. problem. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's my uh, yeah. It's it's give you an idea. I, so anyway, okay. <laughs> yeah, mm. these are the big decisions we have to make at our website. But anyway, so yeah, another great night, and I could have got on. There was a ton of other stuff, but I wanted to to move on to uh, nudity nuggets because I have some oh. really good stuff for you guys here right. to, to discuss. But uh, anyway, yeah, so TV is good, and it's going to continue. Uh, I hate to see uh, Masters of Sex end but uh, for this season, but the, you know we still got a lot of Westworld and uh, uh, Shameless to go, and Young Pope coming in January, so we'll have a lot, lots and lots to talk about moving forward. So Anyway, we got to talk. Um, luckily, uh, our executive producer, Maddie D, is uh, very prominent in the uh, Instagram and Snapchat world. Oh, and really? he is a follower of Ariel Winter because he breathlessly comes to my office every day with the latest on Ariel Winter. And uh, and I got to say, I'm, I'm very intrigued by this girl, uh, Alex Dumphy from Modern Family. Mm-hmm. And the, since Jimmy, she's one of those that like, Mm -hmm. has used instagram and snapchat probably other than like kim kardashian i can't imagine someone who's used it to her advantage and yeah to put herself on the map but i guess her and her girls are in uh where are they in cabo yeah it looks like yeah Yeah, they're down down in cabo yeah and i gotta tell you man look what she's doing andrew i don't know if you (laughs) yeah if you guys can see that but she's just getting her little bikini bottom and shaking her butt in the camera and and sending it out and oh my god her three million views last we saw and it's it's just amazing and and she's she i I think in Cabo, do you know, Andrew, you're, I, I go to Cabo every once in a while, but, um, it, can you drink at 18 or what's the drinking age? 18, Cabo, but know? they don't, they don't card you. They, they don't care. I remember being 15 and getting wasted. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's no really, there's no carding really Yo, going it's on in Mexico. Cabo. They serve pregnant chicks. They don't yeah, care. They don't care. You're right. <laughs> well, I have, uh, the, the, the skin family will be going there between Christmas and, uh, uh we'll spend New Year's <laughs> Eve in Cabo. But Just keep everyone I'm together. Hoping yeah, I'm hoping I run into the uh, this aerial winter uh, uh, bouncing around down there because this is uh, it's fascinating. And again, I want to stress she hasn't technically done nudity, no. But you know, when your your bathing suits up your butt and you're wiggling it in front of the camera, she it's, it's goes cool. as close as she can go. She really uh, camel toes that yeah. line. <laughs> yeah. there you Very go. Good, you're hired. I that like that. Perfect. Yeah, and I don't know, you know, um so she's she'll be 19 in January. So like I said, when I watched Modern Family or, or saw the thing, I didn't even look twice at her. And mm-hmm. now I'm like I'm I'm actually fascinated by her uh with all this stuff. She's she's incredible. Plus I I'm pretty confident she's had breast reduction surgery too. Interesting. Boot, so. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. She went from nerdy Modern Family chick to sex bot. So <laughs> Uh, from in, in Instagram and Snapchat. So anyway, um, th- so that was one thing. Now another thing we found today that was. Very, do you guys know who Hillary Duff of is? Course. You all know her, right? Yes, of course. Yeah, it, yeah she was Lizzie McGuire yeah. and all that other stuff. Uh-huh. So, uh, Maddie, bo- both me and Maddie D saw this today, and it was funny. I was both. Did you see that? I, I kind of uh, thought it was interesting. So I guess she was going fishing uh-huh. in a bikini, and she was holding up two fish, but no one was looking at the two fish. No. Look at that body. I I didn't really. I knew she was cute, but. I've never seen, you know, she's never yeah. done a nude scene. That's about the best I've seen Hillary Duff. She's kind of like compact. Yeah. You know, where she's held together in that bikini and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's a winning body. How tall do you think she is? I would guess 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, 
Yeah, that's what I would think. Yeah, she doesn't look too tall, but that works. Who gives a shit? Yeah, I guess <laughs> I mean, she's. I love that hey, height on a woman, and especially all, with a rack like that. We're all the same height lying down. <laughs> yeah, you know, they, I, isn't I that you. what they say? See, you know, yeah, my well, we, sick brain that's so desensitized to all things nudity because of my job for the last, you know, decade. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's dangerous to go fishing in a bathing suit. You could get a hook caught on you. I'm like, <laughs> oh. but no, she she actually looks like she has at least full full D's, wouldn't you say, skin? Yeah, I would be surprised. They do look big, but I'm thinking it's because it's on a smaller frame. I'm gonna go with uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go with C's, full know. C's. Wow. I don't know. No, I'm not. Hey, listen, this is a. I'm glad we could have this, <laughs> this, this debate. This is we wonderful. Spend this yeah. time together. Yeah, this is very important. But, but anyway, if is, you haven't seen it. these, it was uh, it was her Hillary Duff on Instagram, and we'll we'll post the pictures uh, if if you want to come here and check them out at our website. But it's uh, Hillary Duff in a bikini showing what Andrea thinks are D cups. I think are C cups, but regardless, uh, it's a treat. And uh, she was spearfishing today on Instagram, so check that out. Very cool. Winner. Now, another fun thing, uh, last but not least, I wanted to talk about this. So, remember last week with the young Pope, I was talking about this Raina Therani oh, that yes. I just thought was so gorgeous. Yes. And I we didn't really know much about her. She had been in some like music videos and some uh, you know movies as kind of more of an extra than anything else. But anyway, with this young Pope in the sixth episode, not only did she get naked and she's one of the most gorgeous women you're ever going to see, but uh, did this crazy double penetration scene. So we were promoting her at our website and we our my team looked at her boobs, Andrea, and thought, man, she's 36 years old. Um, you know, uh, there's no way those can be real. And we're, we, we vetted this pretty carefully. We were checking it out and we ended up deciding as a call for the website that Raina Therani, uh, fake boobs. Really? Well, well, I don't know. Yeah. What do you think? I think they're real. Well, yeah, we the, get, go ahead. The re- we get, mm-hmm. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The reason I was going to say that I thought they were real is because they kind of swing to the side a little bit. Like when you the- see that shot of her against the wall, Mm-hmm. Where they look, I don't know. There's good movement in them, skin. Like there's when she's a lot against of the wall. movement in them. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, I think it was more the problem was that uh, someone someone spotted a scar and I saw that spot, too. Yeah. Oh, and, the and also, scar? And also, um, it was her age. Like, how could you have that great of big boobs at that age? You know, you know what I'm saying. It's like you know when you're 24 versus 36, it's a big difference. But we get an email from her stop oh! it yes and she's saying she wasn't complaining that we had nude pics or anything she was like i just want you to know my breasts are oh real my gosh. and Ooh. could you please make the appropriate change and we were like of course i mean That's if, she, if she took the time to email us and say that her boobs were real then i am we're gonna go with real her number one biggest fan let's oh start gosh. her a fan page on facebook right now i am i love her yeah she's amazing <laughs> she's awesome what a badass yeah. chick. Yeah, that's gangster to do that, by the way. To which means she's been frequenting the site. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe she had a friend that hit her up because we, we weren't, uh, until we got this episode of The Young Pope last week, we didn't ever prominently feature her. She was uh, on our website for like sexy non nude stuff, but nothing that mm-hmm. we would ever, you know, promote on the front page of our site. So I don't know if she realized it or some, you know, because mostly it's here's how this works, Jimmy. Uh huh. Some guy she used to date or whatever, <laughs> like notices she's on it and is friends with her, and he'll hit her up. Like I doubt that she was. Yeah, I, maybe. But I, I think doubt it was that her was because I don't think a guy would admit that he was No, I know it was, was her on... that emailed us. I'm just saying how Listen, she was alerted in to the, it. Yeah. In the scenario I'm masturbating to at the moment, yeah, yeah who cares? <laughs> she was cares? watching it last night after a few champagnes, mm-hmm. and here we go. That's <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the scenario. Yeah. So why either do you way, have to ruin that for me. Either way, you you could get pleasure from her nude scene so we ever yeah well i'm just obsessed cool. with her now i mean i'm i thought i liked her last week now i love her yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. funny that you went ahead and now you're following her yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's funny yeah. I'm, I'm literally following her we're in a mall right now <laughs> we're going big gap she yeah she's gonna be that. she's gonna be a big uh anatomy award winner come february we'll really put her on the map because we're uh, all i guess because i think was, we were saying last week that she's like part she's like East Hin- Asian Indian uh, something like Hindu I don't know but she was born in San Diego but she's so exotic and 
Uh, you don't usually see a body like that. Though. She's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah okay. She should be a Bond girl. Yeah. <laughs> like hey, Melania. There her it is. Yeah. We opened, yeah. we opened yeah. and closed on Bond girls. Yes. Yeah. Did that? Mm. It's That's a good why way you to go. come to the skin cast. Yes. Yes. Mm. Did Wrap you just say up. come? Yes. Anyway, so that yeah, I wanted to, so that was my uh, nudity nuggets, and uh, like I said, another great week, and I'm sure uh, next week it'll be even better. We're actually, guys, this is a big time of the year at MrSkin.com because me and my my team have been uh, going through all the nude scenes because we're putting together our year end list for the best TV nudity, best movie nudity, and craziest nude scenes, and a bunch of that. So we're all working. Uh, uh, diligently on this stuff, and uh, we'll have a lot of great things in the weeks to come to share with you guys. But it was a it, it, like an incredible year for nudity as usual, but also just in the last um, as as we're hitting the home stretch here, we're getting greater and greater nude scenes. So that's really exciting, also. Yes, we're it finishing is. Finishing strong. Yes. Let's, yes. let's go get a towel. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Finishing strong. Hey, man, this is a lot of fun, everybody. Let's. Uh, I say we, we we made it to episode nineteen. Should we defy the odds and shoot for twenty next week? Yeah, let's go. I for bet it. on but it. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited. Well, there'll, there'll be no shortage of nudity, so don't worry about that. Yeah, ready. Thank. Well, yo, seriously though, like Westworld and Shameless. Oh. If I could just say, like they really have just dominated. Like they're killing it for us. So thank you oh, to not, them. You know, I just realized next week is uh, Thanksgiving. We'll have to do a Spanksgiving special. Yes. For you guys. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. There you go. I'll bring the stuffing. Yeah. A lot of. <laughs> We'll, do, we'll go with a lot of white meat. Yeah, get yeah. out, get yeah. out your baster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your baster. Oh, don't get me started. Yeah, don't get me started. But yeah, it'll be. Uh, yeah, we'll have to. I'll have to come up with something for Thanksgiving for uh, next week too. Oh, that so excites I'll, I'll, me. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll come it. up with something good. Uh, maybe turkey timers. Turkey timer nips. <laughs> I don't know. We'll come up. Uh, <laughs> I'll have something good. Don't worry about next week. This concludes another skin titillating episode of the Mister Skin Podcast. Subscribe to the Mr. Skin Podcast in iTunes and never miss a show. Thanks for listening.